Now, the rest of the story. Well, good evening, everybody. I got a short video for you. And this is essentially just me um, unloading a load of hay from that farm that we made on, on Friday. Didn't really amount to many bales. Uh, 21, which is pretty easy to make three trips out of. It was the farthest farm that's currently on the list of being made from home. And seems how I was a one-man crew today. I just went ahead and took it upon myself to get everything brought home. So ideally, uh, the rest of the hay that is currently on the ground, whenever we get around to making it, hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day, uh, if it's the two of us, the three of us, whatever it ends up being, uh, if we don't have to quite go so far to, to haul everything home, um, we can get it moved in that much quicker. Because once all the hay is made, ideally we got to work in the corn head and finally get to that corn planter. So the JCB works really great for doing this. And you can't quite see it because it's off the screen, but you'll see it here um, once I move a little bit further down the wagon. Uh, the teleboom, being able to reach across the wagon and, and grab bales on the other side is super nice. It makes it a lot lot simpler, a lot quicker um, to get this unloaded. I think I did this in like four minutes. But as you can see, uh, this is the hay that we took a gamble on. We weren't sure if it would keep, and you know, it was testing high teens, low 20s. It was fairly green yet. And I just saw the stuff again today. It's not squatting. It's not heating. It's not showing any signs of going out of condition. Um, all the hay that is being stacked here, albeit off screen, I do have it stacked spaced apart from each other, much like you see me stack it down at the valley, uh, so it can breathe and air out so the wind and the air can get around each and every bale and any of the moisture that may come to the surface and needs to get away from the bale is able to because when you get moisture trapped especially in between bales or whatever um, that's when you start having quality issues and you know your feeds value starts to plummet so what we ultimately decided or I feel is we probably should have kept bailing and no we wouldn't be able to go through and bail everything uh, that's not what I'm saying but we did have oh two more farms uh, that are alfalfa like this this stuff that was cut on the same day and maybe we wouldn't have been able to make all of it in the time that we gave ourselves i mean we didn't start raking until what, 2 33 o'clock um, but we could have i think at the very least finished up that 11 acres of my brother's which was not super heavy third cut alfalfa but at least that way we would have had it done it would have been the same quality as this material. There's that teleboom working. And all this is going to be wrapped anyway. He's going to let it, you know, cure out and steam and everything. And then he wants to wrap it as dry hay. So at least everything would have been similar quality and that it was being put in the tube. Because it's looking like, I don't know if that 11 acres is, well... I guess I don't know. Um, I'm going to say the 11 acres would have yielded pretty similar bales. I mean, these are 60-inch bales. I mean, 20, 21 here. Yeah. I'd say maybe 15. That's just looking at that 11 acres from the road and from what I've seen of it, checking it for moisture. But ideally, we're going to get done making this stuff here before long. I got a valley video coming up probably tomorrow night. Nope. And then um, probably going to have a week or so, maybe two weeks, uh, to work on some of these these random tasks that we got to get done before harvest. Because September, uh, we're actually burning right through it already. It seems like it was August yesterday, and it's already the 4th. And I mean, we worked, or I worked right through the weekend, uh, right through Labor Day. And it, you know... You get stuff off your, your list of things you want to do, and then you add two more. That's the life of a farmer. So well, that's all I had for tonight, guys. I didn't get any footage of, of bailing or, or even hauling the stuff because uh, Brittany, I didn't find out till the last minute. Brittany wanted to go to town, so I was, I was rushed. 
So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. It really helps, and I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.